Here's question 7 from your homework sheet on complex numbers and equations and in this particular one it tells you that a plus bi is the conjugate of a plus bi all squared. Find all possible, possible values of a and b. Now first of all if a plus bi is the conjugate of this then if we first of all expand this and if you looked at the video for question 6 you'll remember that that comes out as a squared plus 2abi minus b squared. Have a look at the video for question 6 if you're not sure why that is. So if we just rearrange this into the real part and the imaginary part, then we can see that for, this to, for the conjugate of this, the sign of this would change. So it would become minus rather than a plus, which means that that is equal to a squared minus b squared minus 2abi and therefore we can by equating real and imaginary parts we can set up a couple of simultaneous equations so we'll have the real part a equals a squared minus b squared and the imaginary part b equals minus 2ab. At this point avoid the temptation to just divide both sides by b. If you do that you're going to lose one of your solutions. So actually what you need to do is move everything onto one side. So you end up with b plus 2ab equals 0. That means we can factorise taking a factor of b out and leaving 1 plus 2a in the brackets and then we've got two possible solutions we've got that b could be 0 or 1 plus 2a could be 0 which would mean that a would be minus a half by taking away 1 and dividing by 2 so we've got two possible values then to plug into this left hand one. So I'll start off with, well, if b is 0, then that means a would be equal to a squared. And once again, don't divide through by a because you'll lose one of your solutions. If we take a squared away from both sides, factorize out our factor of a, and we've got the fact that a equals 0 or a equals 1. Now we also had our other solution where a is uh, negative a half. So if we put that into our equation on the left hand side, we've got uh, minus a half equals minus a half squared, which is a quarter minus b squared. So I'm going to add a half onto both sides, which gives us 0 equals 3 quarters minus b squared, which means that b squared is going to be 3 quarters, which means b is plus or minus square root at the top, square root at the bottom. So we've got two possible values of b, root 3 over 2 or minus root 3, root three over 2. So just to recap, all of our solutions are a can be 0, 1, or negative a half, and b, let's just have a look up here, we've got b is 0, root 3 over 2, or minus root 3 over 2.